Oh my gosh, guys, it's finally happening. I'm opening a Fates Collide booster box for you. Now, in case you didn't see it on Twitter, I actually got this booster box from Kevsbud uh, completely randomly as a gift. It's amazing. Um, I posted this whole video where I opened it and it was this whole big gush fest, but this booster box was also from the PokeCapital.com. Uh, Kevsbud had Jeff included in my package, so th it was just amazing. But in any case, this battle is going to be viewer's choice and my end anyway is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to do it in four different parts, uh, one for each pack art, and I think you'll enjoy what comes out of it. But without further ado, let's do a little time lapse here and open this booster box. Alright guys, so it looks like we have an equal amount of each pack art, which is great. I love it when that happens. I believe that all Fates Collide booster boxes are like that. I haven't watched too many videos, but the ones that I have had it the same way, where it was Mega Alakazam, Delphox, Lugia Brick, and then uh, Zygarde Perfect Form. All in that order, all the same way. So, without further ado, let's do this first part. Chapter 1. Mega Alakazam. Let's do this thing. So, this is the first booster box that I have opened since Noble Victories, so that was a long time ago now. And uh, I, I would love to open more booster boxes, but I just, I just like to spend money on the individual products instead of a huge one, because then I can, you know, spread out my money a little bit, get some new different things for you guys to see and all that good stuff. Uh, that's how I've been doing it myself anyway. Wow, we've got a Zygarde 10% form. That's really cool. That's the first one I've gotten. That's awesome. I like that a lot. Uh, then we got a Reverse Snubble. And then our rare is a Rotom non-holo. So the first part here, I'm just going to open this as if it is a normal opening, but I won't do that for all 36 packs because that would get boring. So uh, we're going to have a little bit of surprises for you guys in the middle, so I hope you enjoy that. But first off, we have a Fennekin, Seal, Diglett, Snivy, Coughing, Helix Fossil, Ammonite, Dugong, Wigglytuff, a Lucario Reverse! Wow, that's awesome! Oh my gosh, what a great start to this box. I know this is the second pack, but still. And then our rare, it's a Diancie EX! Wow, oh my gosh, that's beautiful! Wow, okay, I'm speechless, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be speechless. Uh, this is awesome, wow. Okay, so keep that in mind with your uh, viewer's choiceness, guys. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, you know that you want to pick my box for the best, don't you? Right? Yes. So Kevsabud is actually opening uh, his friend Casey's box with her, so that's going to be a lot of fun to watch, so you definitely don't want to miss that. And we're both doing our boxes in one video, which I know a lot of people really enjoy, so hopefully you enjoy this. And we have a reverse rare Reuniclus as well, and then our rare is a Mr. Mime, so shout out to Pokemon Excavation. Then we have our next pack here. This uh, Mega Alakazam pack art is really neat. I do very much enjoy the pack arts in this set. And I'm sorry, I, I keep turning away from the microphone. I shouldn't be doing that, but I have to move stuff. So we have a Riolu, a Spoink, Diglett, Larvitar, Meowth, Shauna, Pupitar, Energy Reset, a Servine Reverse. That's awesome. That's my first one of that as well. And then our rare... Oh my gosh, guys! This is amazing! We have an Umbreon EX. Uh, hopefully we don't have all the good pulls in the first chapter here, though, because that would suck. And uh, no video game is like that either, or at least hopefully. So, oh well. But this is awesome. Wow, look at this. So I have the full art one, and now I have the regular art one. Ugh, that's amazing. I'm so happy. You know, booster boxes do that to you. They catch you off guard with, with awesome pulls that you're kind of expecting, but then you don't really want to expect them, and then they catch you off guard anyway, and it's just great. So we have a Minchino, Wismer, Meowth, Binacle, Gothita, Dugong, Bent Spoon, Loudred, Spoink Reverse, and then our rare is an Amistar. So praise Lord Helix, as always. That's a really awesome art, too. Um, I'll definitely be looking at that some more off-screen. The other reason why I wanted to do different chapters for this one is not just for the Metal Gear Solid 4 reference, but also because uh, I get a little bit tired after opening packs and I never really open more than four at once, so this is crazy for me. So we got a Shauna, an Ultra Bar Bowl, <laughs> can't talk, we have an Alakazam Spirit Link, and then our rare is a Lugia, wow! I was really looking forward to getting this card, and I'm sure a bunch of people have already said that this should have been a holo, I think it was in Japanese, and uh, oh well, but it's still really beautiful, wow, that is awesome, ugh, I love that. Maybe uh, 
Maybe we should- you guys should judge our battle on how many cool cards each of us get. Not just by rarity, but by- by how cool the art is. That would be great. So we have a Volibee, a Riolu, Cottony, Seal, Wismer, Wormadam, Old Amber Aerodactyl, Scorched Earth, Wormadam Reverse, and then our rare is the Mr. Mime Non-Hollow. Now we only have two packs left of our Mary Mega Alakazam section of this opening here. I think it's been a great time so far. We have two EXs, uh, we've got some awesome art, and so let's hope we keep that ball rolling. So we have Jigglybuff, Deerling, uh, Riolu, Snubble, Binacle, Altaria Spirit Link, Chaos Tower, that's really neat. I think this is my first Chaos Tower. I love Parallel City, I love Chaos T Tower, this is awesome. We have a Halucha, a Riolu Reverse, and then our rare is a Lucario Hollow. Oh my gosh, you know what, guys? I might be able to build that deck now. I have a couple of other Lucarios, too. This is, ugh, awesome. Well, I'm getting all choked up and stuff. Not in the sappy way, but in the way that I've been talking too much and uh, my throat is rebelling. All right, so last Mega Alakazam pack in this chapter. I think it's been excellent. So we have a Minchino, Spoink, Coughing, Cottony, Larvitar, Dome Fossil Kabuto, Double Colorless Energy, Cinchino, Fennekin Reverse, and then our rare is a Marowak. So I think this is an excellent first chapter. Let's go on to the second one. Chapter two, Delphox Break. So this chapter is gonna be something really different. I've never done this before. This is adapted from Shazam 777's idea just to do rares and a whole booster box. So I'm just gonna do it with the Delphox packs and we'll see what happens. So because there are breaks in this set, um, I'm gonna also sleeve the reverse here, but so what the idea is, I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna put these down here, and then I'm just gonna keep going. And I'll show you guys the uncommons and commons too, but this will be a time lapse, so get ready for that. All right, so unless I did something wrong here, this will be the rares and this will be the reverses. But first, we're gonna look at our commons and uncommons. There's probably nothing too exciting in here. Maybe some cool trainers. We've got a double colorless energy there. A couple of neat trainers there. Uh, we've got a couple of spirit links. That's pretty nice. I've seen a bunch of carvings so far. Oh, we got an N, great. That's awesome. That's my first N from Fates Collide. Very, very cool. That's if I missed another one earlier in this pile. Then I just feel like an idiot. But that's fine, that's not unusual. Oh, we've also got a power memory, that's my, uh, maybe my third power memory, I think, but my other ones are reverse, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so speaking of reverses, let's start with the reverses here. First off, we have a Shinshino reverse, which is an uncommon. Then we have a Chaos Tower reverse, that is awesome, wow, look at that. Ugh, I love Parallel City Reverse and I love Chaos Tower Reverse. Next we have an Ammonite, which is awesome. Then we have a Minchino, doubly awesome. Then we have a Fullaby, a Burmy, Solosis, Bent Spoon, and then a Dugong is our last one. So no breaks in the Delphox break packs, that's kind of funny. Alright, then for our rares, which is kind of the moment of truth. Alright, so let's see what our first rare is. It's an Aerodactyl, that is rad, wow, look at that. Then we have a Mega Audino EX, awesome, wow. Ugh, that's so cute. I love Audino. It's hard It's hard for me to say its name, but I do very much enjoy it. Then we have a Carbink, which is kind of a... It kind of looks clay-like. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Then we have a Mandibuzz, a Barbarical, a Tyranitar Hollow, which is one of my favorites. Then we have a Reuniclus, a Mothem, and then a Superior. So honestly, the Delphox break packs were not very good, um, but it was fun to do this little exercise here. So, all right, on to the next chapter. Let's do this thing. Chapter 3. Lugia Break. So our Delphox Break Packs did not really give us too much, so definitely not helping with our viewers' choice battle here against Kev's Butt and Casey's Box, but hopefully we can best Casey's Box with our Lugia Break section here. Now this one, I'm just gonna go as fast as possible. No card trick, no nothing. I'm just gonna go. So let's see what happens and see how fast I can do it. So I'm not gonna say any of these names. We're just gonna go through and we have a Delphox Break. So that's a Fabulous first pack. Look at that Delphox. That is awesome. My first Delphox break that I've ever gotten. How cool is that, guys? Then we have our Zygarde as our rare, so that's pretty rad. And then the code is backwards, so that makes it, you know, a lot easier, actually. But I know everybody likes the card trick. It just takes a little bit longer, so I'm just gonna do it this way, and we'll see what happens. And uh, I kind of like doing it 
faster. I don't know. The previous part was really fun. Oh, we got a Mew Hollow. Awesome. Wow. So uh, I think I was just talking about this. Mew Hollows are very hard to tell that they're hollows in the first place, but on camera, you can kind of tell. That is awesome. Wow. That's why I had a Mew in the background of the second part, uh, because I love Mews and uh, that's one of the cards that I wanted the most. So, oh, man, we've got things falling over and we have an end. So that is awesome. Our second end of the box. Uh, we should definitely keep an end tally because N is, is one of those valuable cards in play, and so uh, it's always nice to get them. So we've got Larvitars, always makes me happy. Uh, Wismers are cute. Then we have a Halucha, which makes N of the Pokemon Evolutionaries happy. Then we have our Kabutops as our rare, and then a bunch of niche trainers as our uncommons. I haven't been keeping track on how many packs that we've opened so far like this. Uh, oh, I almost did the card trick there. Gosh darn it, me. I'm doing a fun thing. You can't ruin my fun, me. Okay, well, nothing amazing in that pack anyway. Uh, oh well. That's fine because we've got a bunch more to open. Uh, we've got our Zygarde Perfect Form packs to open after this, and I'm very excited about those. So let's see if we get anything cool in this pack. Eh, nope. Well, Aerodactyl's pretty nice. I do like Aerodactyl a lot. Now, I don't know. I can't really process all the cards, so if I skip something cool, just yell at me in the comments. I'm sure that you would anyway. Uh, because that's what comments are for. They're for yelling. Oh, we have a break! We have a Lugia break! That is awesome! I love this card so much. Uh, I have two of these now, so uh, I might do a deck with it. I might not. I probably won't, but it's still very nice. Uh, maybe it'll be for trade eventually. And then a rare is a Lucario, the normal Lucario. Uh, so that's pretty rad. I do like Lucarios. And uh, the focus is going a little wonky here. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm not paying as much attention because I'm just focusing on going as fast as I can because I know you guys' time is very important. And ooh, we've got a reverse rare mold trace. That is awesome. Wow. Uh, I went crazy over the non hollow rare mold trace before, uh, and I just, I just love this art so much. And then a rare is a non hollow rare mold trace. So look at that. That is pretty funny and awesome at the same time. Uh, we didn't get a lot of trainers in that pack, uh, which is unusual for me because, as you've been seeing, I get a lot of trainers in packs, which isn't a bad thing, it's just, you know, a thing. Alright, so here we go with our next pack here. We have one left after this. We have a Snorlax Reverse Rare, that's pretty awesome. And then our rare is a Snorlax. Okay, second time in a row. That makes me a little suspicious. What's up with this box? Oh my gosh. Okay. Last Lugia break pack. Let's see what we get here. I'm going so fast that I'm knocking things over in the background. That's not cool of me. All right, so we have our Bronzor, all this cool stuff. Lots of car bank in this box. Ooh, a Zygarde Reverse. That's really cool. And then a rare is a Bronzong. Oh well, still very cool. And my arm is hurting. Oh my gosh, we were going so fast. Okay, let's go on to the next chapter. Chapter four. Zygarde perfect form. Alright guys, now welcome to the last chapter. Now you already know that war has changed and you already know that this is a viewer's choice battle so it's all up to you guys and now it's all down to Zygarde perfect form. Now this chapter is not going to have a fun little gimmick. I'm just going to open these packs as I normally would so I can savor the end of this booster box. I don't know if I mentioned already but this is the first booster box that I've opened since Noble Victories so it's been a little, a little while so uh, I'm really enjoying this. It's been a lot of fun doing different stuff here, so I hope you guys are too. So we have Reverse Brakeson, and then our rare is a Grumpig non hollow So I'm hoping for some cool stuff. Uh, based on the polls right now, we haven't gotten any, you know, full arts or any secret rares or anything like that. So honestly, it hasn't been the most outstanding box ever, but it's still a lot of fun. So we'll see. We'll see what we can get. So we have a Wormadam, a Dome Fossil Kabuto, Altaria Spirit Link, a reverse Larvitar, so that makes me happy. And then our rare is a Barbarical non hollow rare, uh, which I forgot existed before this booster box. I just haven't been pulling them. Uh, but I think I got them in the pre release pack, so I don't know why I forgot about them, but I did. Uh, so, oh well. So we got a Fennekin, Solosis, Riolu, Spoink, Diglett, Shuckle, Helix Fossil, Ammonite, Random Receiver, a Reverse Motham, which is a rare, and then, oh my gosh, we have a full art Mega Alakazam EX. That is gorgeous. Wow. Oh, that is so cool. I saw somebody with a Japanese version of this at the pre-release that I went to, and it's just beautiful. And so here we are with an English version equally as beautiful. This is amazing. I can't even follow all the textures on this card. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys can see that. Wow, that is so cool. Ugh. Mega full arts are always gorgeous. I am just, ugh, 
I'm always beside myself. But there we go. Now we've gotten a full art. So hopefully we can keep that full art train going. That would make me very, very happy. But let's see what we get in this pack. We have a Larvitar, Seal, Riolu, Jigglypuff, Fennekin, Ammonite, Devolution Spray, Wormadam, a Carbink Break! Alright, that is awesome to see. This is my second Carbink Break, so we're on our way to maybe being able to play that deck. I don't know, we'll see. And that our rare is an Amistar Praise Helix, always and forever. So, we've got our next Zygarde Perfect Form pack here. Uh, I think I'm actually missing this pack from my uh, my little pack collection, so I might want to keep one nice. So we have a Larvitar, a Bronzor, Mancino, Snubble, Deerling, Wormadam, Pokemon Fan Club, Audino, Spirit Link, a Reverse Do Dome Fossil Kabuto, and then a rare is an Exploud non hollow I should really count how many Exploud non hollows I have because it feels like I have all of them that have ever been made. Oh my gosh, I have so many. <laughs> so we have a Spoink, Coughing, Volibee, Riolu, Cottony, Wigglytuff, Mega Catcher, Alakazam Spirit Link, a Bronzor Reverse, and then our rare. Oh my gosh, we did it! Yes! Ah, oh, this is one of the cards that I wanted the most in the set. Besides the secret rare, I really want a Team Rock. It's handiwork. Ah, uh, guys, blech, I'm repeating myself so much, but this is a beautiful card. Ah, uh, oh my gosh, yes. Okay, my fates collide. Wants are almost complete with this card. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that texture. You can actually see it on the camera. It's got those really neat, like, reoccurring diamond shapes. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I almost fell out of my, my current card opening position because I was so excited. Oh, that net actually feels like a net. It's got kind of a gritty pattern on it. That is so rad. Oh, there's no other word to describe this card that's awesome. And there's a bug, I don't know if you could tell, but the bug kissed the card with some love and then flew out. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy. All right, so we have three packs left, guys. Uh, I had to take a break and, and look at that card some more because I wanted it so bad. Ugh, the best card in the whole set besides the secret rare. I think it's probably my second favorite card in the whole set, and now that I'm thinking about it. So we have a Meowth, a Gothita, Jigglypuff, Deerling, Riolu, Loudred, Fairy Drop, Shinjino, a Jigglypuff Reverse, and then a rare is a White Curum Hollow, which is really neat. I think that's my third one now, uh, so that's pretty pretty awesome. I do like it a lot, and hopefully other people do too, because then I can trade it, and that would be nice. I haven't done a trade in a very long time, mostly because, I don't know, I just don't have a lot of good cards for people. So we have a Larvitar, Diglett, Minchino, Spoink, Coughing, Energy Reset, Servine, Ultra Ball, a Devolution Spray Reverse, and then our- Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, this box! This box is killing me! Uh, you know, the only thing that would make it better is if the last pack had that secret rare in it. I would be done. I would just be totally done. So, I collect Altaria, in case you haven't watched any of my videos before, and, um, so this is- this is amazing. <laughs> uh, I can't believe it. This is awesome! Look at all that awesome texture. It looks like wind in the background. You can kind of see it right now. Oh, that is beautiful. Wow, I'm gonna- I'm gonna enjoy putting these cards in my collection so much. This is amazing. Perfect for a pack battle, perfect for me. Ugh. Alright, so here's our last pack of Fates Collide in our awesome booster box battle against Kev's Bud. Again, please don't forget to check out his video and Casey's box. I'm sure that'll also be super awesome. So we have a Machino, Gothita, Solosis, Snivy, Snubble, Energy Pouch, Wormadam, Scorched Earth, Superior Reverse, which is a rare, and then our final card is an Anano EX. What a great way to end. Whoa, I'm dropping it too. What a great way to end this box with some last pack magic. All right, guys, it's epilogue time. So I'm going to do a little bit of a recap, but I'm not going to show you all the cards that I pulled because that would ruin the fun of actually watching the video because this one is my first booster box on YouTube. I don't know how you guys are going to react to it. So uh, I wanted to savor it and I wanted to leave the surprises for you guys to find. So in this box, we've got six reverse rares. Uh, I think that was six. Oh, this is hard to do. Then we have four hollow rares. Then we got three breaks, then we have 
one, two, three, four E axes, and then we got three full arts. Now I'm actually going to show you these two because these are my favorite cards that we got in the whole box, and I just wanted to look at them again, and I'm sure you guys wanted to as well. We have a Team Rocket's Handiwork full art, and then an Alteria EX full art, so. Ugh, this was just awesome, guys. I'm so happy. Thank you so much again to Kev's but I can't thank you enough for, for sending me this box and then for us having this great pack battle. I hope in post it looks as cool as I'm thinking it will uh, with all the references that I'm going to put in, but uh, uh, we always do Metal Gear references and stuff on our videos in case you already haven't seen. It's always a lot of fun to battle Kev's but and I hope you guys have a great time too when we do. Now the question becomes, what in the world am I going to do with 36 code cards? I do like giving them away to you guys. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I might do a code card giveaway uh, for all of these or some of them or I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens but uh, this is... This is pretty great, having all these code cards here. I might do a stream where I open all of them on PTCGO. I've never done a stream before, so uh, that might go a little rocky, but we'll see what happens. I'll let you know on Twitter and stuff uh, if, if something does happen. So thank you so much again, Kev's Bud, for sending me this booster box. Uh, I'm never going to forget it, and it's captured on video for forever, so, you know, if, even if I wanted to forget it, I couldn't. <laughs> and thanks to you all for watching. Don't forget to comment on both of our videos and let us know who won uh, via viewer's choice, and I think I will give away a few of those code cards to people who comment. I don't know how many yet, but uh, you just, just comment on both the videos and see if you, you get a message from me in your inbox. Also, I wanted to thank Casey for letting Kev's Bud open her booster box on camera to make this thing possible. It was a lot of fun, and I'm really glad that we were able to do it. So thanks again for watching, everybody. You are true diamond dogs, as I always like to say at the end of these battles, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.